Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you the use of uh, different lenses and lens adapters with my Photor Gear DOF adapter. purchased this photo gear DOF adapter recently. It is now fulfilling a genuine requirement for a DOF adapter in the market because the existing ones went out of production. The photo gear DOF adapter has got a Sony emote to which you can attach Sony emote manual focus lenses. If you want to use other lenses with the photo gear DOF adapter then you will have to use some other suitable lens adapters. I am filming this with a Nikkor 55mm lens and to adapt it to the Photor Gear DF adapter, I am using a Viltrox Nikon to Sony E-mount lens adapter. You can see the framing. I am sitting at a distance of uh, 4 feet from the plane of the DOF adapter. And you can see that I am uh, I have got a shallow depth of field. My face is in focus from the front of my face to the back of my head, the chair head and uh, the objects behind me are all not in sharp focus and this is the clear shallow depth of field. So this is the 55 millimeter lens. I am going to now show you the use of other lenses and other adapters. This is a manual focus f55 millimeter lens. Since I am using a Viltrox lens adapter, there is a zoom factor in it. So I had to decrease the aperture from f1.2 to f2.8. With that, I could avoid vignetting and I am getting a good depth of field at a distance of 4 feet from the plane of the DOF adapter. So you have to take this into consideration and I am getting a good depth of field. Next. to show you the different lenses and different lens adapters. The reason why you need a lens adapter and uh, different lenses is that you, it is very difficult to find Sony E-mount lenses, manual focus lenses for using with the photo gear DOF adapter. There are other lenses available and they are not very expensive. But all of them have had mixed reviews on YouTube. There is uh, some chromatic aberration. Definitely there is a chromatic aberration. There is a spherical aberration. Although they are not very difficult to correct. With video, it would be very difficult to manage them. Therefore, the Nikkor lens is a time-tested solid lens and I am using that. This is a purely the Nikkor lens which I am using right now to film this video is a manual focus lens. And now I'm going to show you the other lenses. These are all not manual focus lenses. They, these are lenses which came with my Canon cameras. So this is a Canon 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It is both autofocus and manual focus. You can change it to manual focus by pressing a button over here. And the aperture value for this is 3.5 to 5.6 that's not brilliant for terms of in terms of a, a fast lens 3.5 lens but the biggest advantage is the field of view is from 18 to 35 and you can get a different kind of a framing in the same position of the camera and the subject so now i'm going to change this to accommodate this onto the photo gear DOF adapter I've had to purchase lens adapters 
First, I purchased this uh, knockoff lens adapter for Canon to Sony E-mount. I got it from, uh, I ordered it online, it came. But uh, although it is very light, and uh, this is a genuine one, this is uh, from Photodiox, uh, and uh, this is the same thing, it is also from Canon to Sony E-mount. Comparatively, this one weighs heavier than this, and I also noticed that the lens was not uh, securely being fixed to the front of the lens adapter and therefore I set this aside and I am nowadays filming with this one. So this lens adapter, the Photodiox Canon to Sony E-mount adapter can be used with the other Canon lenses which I have got here. This is the Canon 18 to 50, 35 and then there is another Canon 80 to 200 and this has got a f 4.5 to 5.6 it may be useful for a particular kind of a framing and the third lens which i have got is a zoom lens this is a sigma lens f from focal length 70 to 300 and it has got an aperture of uh, 4 to 5.6 so not very brilliant it may be suitable for some kind of shots where you want to shoot objects in a wide open area definitely not for shooting video indoors you can zoom in on an object and get shallow depth of field i'll show you some examples i'm now going to switch over to this canon lens and show you the result I have removed the Viltrox lens adapter along with the Nikkor lens and this is the DOF adapter without anything. Now I am going to attach this Photodiox US to Nex lens adapter. I have attached the Photodiox lens adapter for Canon to Sony E-mount. Now I am going to attach the Canon lens and this is the Canon lens now attached to the DOF adapter. This is the initial footage which I am getting in the Filmic Pro remote app. I have to make some fine adjustments. You can see that the shutter speed is 1 by 50, ISO is 571. I get the focus with the focus peaking button. All the other video configurations I have already set in the settings of Filmic Pro. Now I am going to make adjustments, fine adjustments to the distance and the focus. So for filming with the Canon lens, I had to make some adjustment. The shutter speed is still locked at uh, 1 by 50 but I had to increase the ISO to double that is 1108 and I am bound to get some grain. Even then the scene is not completely and uniformly illuminated. There is some false color seen on the tip of my nose um, but uh, the background, uh, there is uh, dark patches. There are dark patches. So, the important thing is if I now press the focus peaking, you can see that my face is in focus. And uh, I have got a wider, wider field of view now. You can see that. So these are the differences between the 35 millimeter lens. It's not as good. It's not as good as the 55 millimeter Nikon lens. It is somewhat okay, but with some grain. Uh, if I want to get a better image with the 35 millimeter lens, then obviously I'll have to invest in a full frame manual focus 35 millimeter lens. I don't consider this an important investment right now for my purposes. So this is the field of view you will get with a 35 millimeter lens. You have to increase the ISO, change the, and uh, keep the shutter speed. 
and of course adjust the focus by turning this ring in the front 35 mm lens shallow depth of field Another point is that uh, you don't get a shallow depth of field, as shallow depth of field as compared to the Nikkor lens here. You can see the focus peaking is extending. This is the video from the 80 millimeter lens. I have increased the distance between the camera and me to about five feet now you can see that my the front of my face and the back of my head is in still focus and uh, this is the quality you will get a zoomed in image at a distance the third lens which is the 70 to 200 millimeter lens it won't be possible to use this third lens 70 to 300 millimeter zoom lens indoors uh, because there is not sufficient space so i'm going to restrict footage shot with this now i'm going to use a sigma f sigma 70 to 300 millimeter lens this lens is around uh, 30 years old it has got some fungus in it I had recently given it for servicing but they couldn't uh, entirely remove the fungus. Instead of throwing it away, I just kept it and uh, when the DOF adapter came, I thought I would try it out to see what uh, unique footage I will be able to get with it. This is Sigma lens, it has got a Nikkor base and so I'm, I can still continue with the Viltrox adapter and uh, I can connect this Sigma lens to the photo gear DOF adapter. The aperture on it is not brilliant. It won't open up. You can see the aperture there. Um, but it has got a focal length of uh, 70 to 300.
so I managed to get some good footage with the 300 millimeter zoom lens also. It's not too bad. So let's put all these together and see what we get as the final result. I hope you like this video. The purpose of this video was to explore the possibilities with a DOF adapter. You can use vintage lenses which you have lying around and uh, you have to accommodate those lenses onto the specific DOF adapter which is the photo gear DOF adapter with the lens adapters. The important thing about uh, using a lens adapter is that uh, know that nowadays the lens adapters are at least that thick so that adds a uh, it acts like a lens extension and there is a little bit of zoom involved so you have to uh, accommodate the zoom factor while recording video self video or a talking head video like this in a smaller space but for open spaces like this it doesn't matter if you don't want the zoom factor at all, then you'll have to get uh, lenses, Sony E-mount lenses in this case, because this is a Sony E-mount uh, photo gear adapter. And uh, you can try those lenses. You, they come in uh, 35, 55 and various focal lengths. And you can pick and choose what length you want according to your style of presentation and then your facial features. Remember all that. Uh, so if you found this video informative, Share it with your friend, like it, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.